call here with you guys today because, you know, this is the locker room. Every single Sunday, you guys are going to receive this value. Last Sunday, this right here, this was only like, what, four, four people? Now look at today. We got nine. Little by little, you guys are going to see this locker room is going to be so, so packed that now we need to bring it to the beach. Joe, Johnny, that, that's the goal. Bring it to the beach. This is how we're going to do it. I'm telling you, bro. But yeah, guys, real quick, I just want to go back until what Johnny was talking about, the rejection stage, the rejection rocket. Guys, very, very, very important for you to understand this, right? Now, I get it. Why did Johnny's friend, very successful business owner, already doing this thing, went to him and told him like, hey, Look, why do you keep going with this, right? Johnny understands the game. So I want you guys to really add this to what Johnny was saying, right? Write down rope and go, right? I want you to write that down, rope and go, okay? That's my saying when it comes into first building this business. You got to rope and just go, right? You guys ever play that, that roping game that you just keep pulling and pulling and pulling at the beach, right? Guess what? Just always know that the other party that you're presenting this business to is pulling you harder than what you think. But you got to be able to pull, rope, and just go and keep going and keep going and keep going. And I'm telling you guys, he gave you here and he prepared you on what to be ready for your rejection and also the rejection of the individual that's going to have the potential to join your business. Get that book, guys. I'm, I'm going to start re-tapping re, re, re into that book because it just it's just those pointers that you really need, okay? So on today's call, you know, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about leverage. And I'm also going to talk to you guys about some roles that you guys should be able to have on your first event. So I'm so grateful that I'm here on this call. And Cedric is here. I actually texted him today. I know he's been working. He hasn't got back to me. But I texted him and I told him, I was like, hey, I know you're ready for your, for your third event in Vegas now. You're killing it, bro. What do you need from me? Right? So I could be able to help you and guide you. Because remember, guys. Before all of this was here, I did all the events already. <laughs> and I still got more events to do, right? <clears throat> I know the ropes. You see how Johnny gave you the ropes, right? Gave you the rejection rope. I'm here going to tell you how to get the rejection rope and actually go and attack it, right? But you got to all have the same roles and you got to know how to leverage, okay? Because here's we're first starting our network marketing journey. We're all first starting right here, our first time on building and duplicating leaders, okay? And I'm grateful that Cedric is here, right? And I'm grateful that everybody in Canada is here on this call that's actually building on that side. So you know what this is right here. We're about to go up. Who's ready to go up? Drop a, I'm ready to go up in the chat real quick because I'm ready to go up, right? So the first thing that I'm going to go over here with you guys today is one of my favorite, favorite trainings, okay? This favorite training right here is so it's so amazing because today at church, actually, <laughs> the, the, the message of today was real relationships, right? Like real, that word real relationships is the biggest key. And that's one of the biggest things I've done in this journey is build relationships, right? And that's the first thing that I'm going to say to you guys. The name of the game is called leverage, okay? Okay, leverage. Know how to play the game <clears throat> before the game plays you, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you guys a quick little story. And this goes back to college days, right? Um, I just graduated high school. I was a top recruit for baseball and basketball <clears throat> and also football. I was a really good football player. And, you know, growing up, I was like, you know what, bro? I don't know if I want to take the football or I want to take the basketball and baseball into college, bro. And I share this story with you guys because this is the power of leverage, okay? And this is the power of you understanding your role. And also, this is the power of you understanding, know how to play the game before the game plays you, right? Now, <clears throat> I know I hear I have some athletes here. I might have some athletes watching this video. And you may be at a point right now which is very hard for you to make a decision, right? It's because you don't know how is it going to be in the other side, right? Guess what? That was with me, too. I was always, you know, a really good player. I played a lot of more minutes than a lot of people because I knew how to play my role, okay? And I knew how to leverage my team, okay? Now, you know, as a freshman in high school, I swung JV and varsity, okay? And I swung those two teams because I was a point guard, okay? I was a very skilled point guard for my position, 
Okay, very strategic. Some of you guys that are here in this business have been following me. Now you can understand why I'm so strategic, right? I'm always setting plays up. I'm always putting people in position to win. I, I, I'm a connector. I have mastered that role, okay? So <clears throat> when I went to college, guess what? Being a person that's always very strategic to not being the person that plays at all. Seven months in into my se into my season, I had to be a bench player. I had to be the water boy for the team. I had to be the person that was cheering everybody on. Remember, I came from being a person that was always cheering, cheer, right? To being a person that now has to play behind the scenes, okay? And I'm here to tell you guys something. I played that role like it was the best role ever. Nobody was had the littest bench when KD was on the bench, right? I, would, I had everybody on their toes cheering everybody on. Just the same way, similar to this business, right? I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> I am your biggest fan. I want you guys to know that. So here in the power of leverage, I want to share that story to you guys because that story has to do with this training. I'll be honest. Around that time, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't there mentally or spiritually or where I'm at now, right? But I knew the power of leveraging others so I could be able to leverage and become the person I want to become, right? So I want you guys all to write this down for me, right? And this is the power of leverage. Know how to play the game before the game plays you, right? And I want you guys all to do this, okay? And when you're leveraging somebody, you got to ask yourself this question. What am I really good dash great at? That's the question you got to ask yourself. Trust me, Johnny and I had a three-hour conversation two days ago. That's why I kind of see, like, yo, Johnny's funny, man. I just know, I just noticed your patterns. I noticed when we had three, four-hour conversations, the next day we don't really talk much. <laughs> so I figured it out. Let's go. Shit. Um, so I had this, this three, four-hour conversation with Johnny, and I was asking, I was like, yo, what are you really good at, bro? What are you great at? Now, right now, I could call you, and you're like, yo, this is it, bro. Okay. And he was like, yo, yeah, boom, gave me a list, right? His list was very short. And then I asked him for this. What are some of the things, of the things you need to improve on, okay? And the list was getting bigger. I'm like, oh, shit, okay, but I got you, bro. So he understands the power of leverage, right? He has a lot of great things, but he also had a lot of great things that he wants to know how to leverage. And this is what you guys are going to find out out of the things that you need to leverage, okay? So you got to ask yourself, what am I really good at? What am I great at? But what are the, some of the things that I need to improve? And you know what you do? What you're good at? Guess what you do? You don't focus on that. You leverage that. But what you're not good at, you also leverage it. But behind the scenes, you're working on that. Okay? You're pouring into your cup on those things. And right now, guess what? You need to know how to leverage in this game. But how do you leverage, KD? What am I good at? It, do that right and what you're not good at you leverage it okay very 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 important because now as you're mastering what you're not good at you're also observing and watching somebody else do it remember this guys in the journey of life you learn two ways you learn by self-doing and you know what's the other way that you learn by watching other people do it i watch other people do the things that i'm not great at and guess what? When my time and my opportunity comes to do it, I'm the master of it because I already saw somebody do it. I'm learning from somebody else's experience. And it's very, very, very important for you guys to know that. OK, so this is the power of leverage right now. I want you guys to start leveraging each other. OK, I want you guys to find a, a, a partner in RMP that's active, that's active, always in the chat. And I want you to have an accountability partner for that, for the things that you're not good at. OK, Ben, you leverage that person. I do it all the time with all my leaders. Things that I, I'm not I'm not the best at, I leverage it. Leverage, 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 leverage. Leverage is the key of this game. That's how you guys know how to play this game before this game plays you. Does that make sense? Let's get it. Yo, Bosco, you look locked in over there, bro. That's a nice chair. <laughs> I like it. like it. Let's go. So the next thing that I'm going to go over here with you guys is this. And, and this is something that's so, so, so strategic and it's so, so simple when it comes into running your home events, okay? Running any event, everybody needs a role, okay? So running your first home event, okay? I'm not gonna show you guys how to present here on this call, but next week we got some amazing, amazing things cooking up, 
Okay, next week, I'm going to talk to you guys about the power of relationships. Okay, because these are going to help you guys a lot in your business, building relationships. Okay, so home event. Okay, everybody has a role in the home event. Okay, and also there is goals for your home event. So when you guys are running your home events, make sure that you have a role. Okay, now think about it. Johnny's going to be at his event. Okay. V Venice is going to be at her event. My boy Bosco is going to be at his event. Who else is going to be there? Italo is going to be there. Okay. Oh, Mario is going to be there. Mario, you going to be there? Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Right? Now, the goal of the event, I know Cedric has this lined up as well out there in Vegas, but because we have more Canada and they have their event going up, so I'm just going to use them as an example. Okay? So the goal for the event, what's the goal for the event, Johnny? How many guests and how many signups? Uh, hold up, please. You can unmute yourself, bro. Oh, the goal is at least 20 uh, guests and about 10 plus signups. So we're, we're looking to close half the room. That's the goal. Amazing, I love that. Yeah. So signups, 10, guests, 20 plus. Okay, 10 plus, let's run it. So now think about it like this, right? Everybody has a role to invite one person. I know I'm missing more students out there, but do the math, right? How many we have in Toronto so far? Nine, how many people? About 13, 14. 13, 14 in Toronto, right? So look guys, that's already, <laughs> That's already what? 90% of the goal smashed. If everybody makes a decision, when everybody makes a decision to invite one person, you see the role here? Think about it. One person, it could be your dog, bro. That ass. That's still, that's still, that's still a body. <laughs> that's still some heat, right? But one person. And I love what Johnny said when he talked about, you know, the rejection rocket. Guys. Hey, do you know about investing? Do you know about e-commerce? Oh, no? Oh, yo, what are you doing at 7.30, bro? Hey, he says, what are you doing at 7.30? Look, I, ha I have an event. I'll be speaking, and I would love for you to come to this event. That's it. Easy. But remember, what's easy is easy to do, right? But what's hard to do is also easy not to do. So you got to pick what's hard. Yeah, that's hard because you got to go speak, and you feel like getting that rejection. But remember what Johnny said, it's okay to receive a no. Because as many no's as you receive is how many yeses you're going to receive next. It's the power of numbers. Trust me. So one of the roles that I'm going to give every single one of you guys for your first event. Also, my, my that's my role too. I don't invite to this event. I don't promote this event. That's on me, bro. That's not on you guys. That's on me. So I'm also going to be pushing this event. Vegas as well. I'm also going to be pushing this event. Okay. So I'm, I'm grateful that I'm out the country right now. I'm sitting down and I got my leaders pushing me out of my comfort zone. I love it, right? I'm not even in the States, but I have, to, I get to do this, okay? So perfect example, rules. Man, everybody needs to invite one person to this event, okay? At the event, you guys have a door man, okay? Or a woman, could be anybody. It needs to be somebody that has Great energy. And what do I mean about great energy? Someone that's like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Always on edge, right? Always on edge. That's a person that got to be on point. Energy is high, welcoming people. Doesn't matter what they're dealing with. They're just welcoming people, okay? That needs to be that person. Greeting, energy, person that is ready to go out the door, okay? Now, I, I know how Toronto works a little bit. I don't know how Vegas works. But I'm going to make it there this year for sure, right? So I know that Toronto is the parking situation in Montreal was the same. Um, it's going to be a little bit, right? So we're going to need at least two people dealing with the entrance, okay? That could be parking. That could be this. That could be that. It all depends how it is, right? Let's see how everybody has a quote. Very, very, very important. Then, always, guys, bring water to the event. Water, dash, snacks. 
Hold up, fam. It's raining. Sheesh. Johnny, I just signed for the event. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, guys. Yeah, Mario, without a doubt, bring bring up bring a friend, man. And you know, it's gonna be a good experience because like I said, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do something together after my go eat together, um, after the event. Um, and it's gonna be a really nice spot too. And I made sure, just to let everybody know, I made sure that the the, the venue that I got or the space that I got has free parking. So like I, I that was like a big thing that I was really pushing because it's gonna be in the in this like downtown. Um, and yeah, guys, let's just, let's just have fun with it, enjoy it, uh, take it day by day. And, you know, if we all, like, like Katie says, if we all play our role um, and, you know, just bring one, you know, that, that's how we're going to grow this massively. And that's how you guys are going to accomplish your goals in terms of, you know, going two and free, going P150, so on and so forth. All right, my brother's back. Yo, that was wild yeah. out there. I'm like, yo, what is going on? Yo, guys, don't leave next to the beach it's wild <laughs> the rain falls harder over here different so yeah fam let's get back to it my bad um so real quick um i left off right here where it says bring the water and snacks always bring water and snacks and you have a person playing that role okay that person is giving them the water and also that person is sitting them okay now, at this event, it happens all the time, right? Who has ever been to an event and you see little circles all over, right? People just creating little circles, little groups, people in the corner, shy, nobody's talking to nobody, right? Guess what? You got to have people at this event walking around, meeting, and greeting, okay? And what do I mean about meeting and greeting? Guys, go say hello, right? Go say hello. Don't say your whole story <laughs> until they hear you out speaking. Don't say your whole story. Hey, my name is KD. Yeah, I'm from New York and I'm out here. Yeah, I'm excited, you know, to be here. Da -da -da -da. Short conversation but just shake their hands, right? Now, the people that are meeting and greeting, your role is to gather information. When I do my events, I go and shake everybody's hands in the room and I gather information. What do I mean gather information? Hey, so what is your goal to 2023? What is everybody gonna say? I wanna make more money. <laughs> That's the goal every single time, right? Ding, light bulb. I'm a speaker. I'm a closer. What's going to happen? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Deliver the message. Rope and go, right? Next thing, gather information. Hey, tell, tell me about you. Like, you have any siblings? Where are you from? If you had a place right now that you had the opportunity to go and travel, where would it be? Hit them every single time. Oh, my God, Mexico. Yes, I'll see you in Mexico. April 23rd to the 25th, we have a convention there. Boom. What? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Boom. I've been to this country, this country, and I've traveled to all these cities. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Impact. When you're playing this role, you got to gather information. There's a saying that says that God gave us two ears to listen more than we want. Speak. So just listen. Be a great listener when you're playing this role right here. Gather a lot of information, guys. The more information you gather, the faster you will close them at your event. Make them feel like home. That event in Toronto, all you guys told me, like, bro, I felt like I was at my crib. Like, I was with family. That's how every event should be. You guys are my brothers and my sisters in here. I'm telling you. Gather as much information. Be here for each other. And that's the role that you want to play, okay? Next, there's a person that's running the PowerPoint. Who's going to be that person? 
the clicker. If there's not a clicker in the room, we need a person to run the PowerPoint. Because the last thing that you want to do is the whoever is speaking to give their back to the audience just to go do something. You never want to do that as a speaker. Okay, never give your back to your audience. When you guys are speaking, move forward. And even if you got to turn your back, like never turn your back, just move backwards and do what you got to do. Because when you give your back to somebody, you will lose them. Okay, very, very, very important. A runner to run the PowerPoints. Okay. Also, we did this in Toronto, is while the presentation is going, there should be someone at the door for the late visitors. What is that? We have a lot of late visitors that come to the events all the time, every single event. So the best thing that we want to do is have somebody at the door so they're connecting with each other. Then the event just finished, okay? Guess what we have? You have laptops ready. You have links ready. <laughs> you have phones ready to sign, to help sign people up at the event. Next thing, I usually, I don't know if Johnny's doing this, but if you do, um, run a training after if you have time. If you don't, it's okay. Um, yeah, yeah, we will. I, I rented the space out for two hours, so oh, we'll have time. That's perfect. So on the training, you could talk a little bit about why circle, let everybody share their story, um, talk a little bit about where they're from, what they do, um, how's everything been and things like that within the journey. Um, you could run a fast start, like let them know, paint the vision for them. Um, and yeah, guys, when you guys are walking around and talking and meeting people, let them know your vision. Okay. And you don't have to lie to them. Like, yo, you you just got started with us. Tell them, yo, I just got started. I'm just learning how everything works. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just focusing right now on, on this. I'm just learning exactly how this works. Very, very important. Okay. Let them know your vision because one of the biggest things that as a leader and myself followed when I first got started, the reason why I got started was because I knew I was starting strong leaders that were stronger than me, that I was going to be learning from them. And not only that, but I knew that they were going somewhere. That's why I signed up. And I'm going to be honest, it's been the best decision I made. Um, I've been here two years, about to hit three years, August, August 29th this year, three years in this game. And hundreds of people have joined my business. I've made a lot of great money. But the biggest thing that I could say to you guys was I made the best decision when I got started here um, to follow my mentors because the power of relationships that I'm going to give you guys next week is going to be like in the power of community is going to be like, wow, okay. And I'm so grateful, you know, that I have you guys here, but let people know that where you're going with this, not where you're at right now, not where you were at before, but exactly where exactly you're going. Because when you tell them that, like they're going to rock for you. And they're going to see the bigger picture. Shout out to, you know, my brother Bosco that's here. He signed up at that event. My brother Mario that's here on this call, he signed up at that event. You know what I'm saying? Finally, the two girls, Johnny, hit me up. They're going to sign up. So think about that. <laughs> two more bodies in Toronto. You know what I'm saying? So um, Keon is still here on this call. Keon's, you know, right hand signed up at, at our event that day because she saw the impact. She saw where we're going. Okay. So let people know where you're going, guys. Let people know your vision because when you let them know where you're going, they're going to follow you. Okay. Um, this is what I have for you guys. So the power of leverage, know exactly what you're really good at and great at. Know what exactly some of the things that you need to improve and leverage those. You guys know that I'm a, I'm a master now, not, not a master, yeah, but you know, I'm a savage in e-commerce right now. I just opened up another store. Um, today we actually made our first sale, um, which it was super dope off organic. You know what I'm saying? Organic traffic. And you do an e-commerce on this call, you sign somebody with e-commerce, you don't know nothing about it. Leverage me. What did Johnny do? He signed up my brother Bosco. Yo, hit up KD for e-commerce. This week, Bosco, I'm gonna be on your back, bro. <laughs> you heard we launched in that store, my boy. He's same thing with Keon, right? I'm on his back. Like, yo, well, we'll we're our accountability partners this week to leverage each other, to post on Instagram, post on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? So 
I'm telling you guys, leverage is the key, okay? Next thing right here is knowing the, the roles for your event, okay? Knowing how to present, um, not, that's that's going to be something Johnny's going to go over with you guys. Um, oh, no, I, I'm going over that, my fault. So the roles at the event, um, knowing exactly the door, who's going to be running the door, who's going to be... Um, Who's going to be delivering, like bringing them water? Who's going to bring the water? Who's going to be sitting them, um, walking them around, meeting and greeting, saying hello, gathering information. Um, the runner that's running the PowerPoint, someone at the door to be the late visitor. And then right here is um, helping someone sign up after the event, wide circle, let them know your vision, let them know where you're going. And um, this is the last thing I got for you guys right here, right before. I take off my bad for that. So right here, right, is when you're presenting. Okay. Um, usually there's an opener. There's a person that opens. That person needs to have great, great energy. You need to be excited. You need to share that energy with the room. Okay. And when you're opening, you know, definitely welcome people. <laughs> Thank you for being here today, guys. You could have been anywhere else, but you guys are here at this event. First of many events that are going to happen here. Let them know at what you've been doing already. Okay, what do I mean? What have you been doing? what you guys been doing so far every single Saturday, yo, every single Saturday guys, we've been meeting up and now we're finally opening this up for community. And we're going to invite you guys here to help us build our community and show you guys what exactly we're talking about. Boom. Next, what you want to talk about is your story. Your story should be no longer than three minutes, right? Edify. And then after this, after your story, talk about the Academy or the four-way cash flow, then edify, edify the next speaker. Then when the next speaker comes, um, that speaker usually is the presenter. Um, from that presenter, he usually brings out testimony. He says, he opens up, he says a story within the PowerPoints. Then he brings out testimonials. From testimonials, he breaks down, he closes. Boom, easy. That's how you do it. The testimonial, like just bring up two or three if you have them in the room. Um, don't bring up no, like if it's a big room, you want to bring up more. But if it's a smaller room, just bring out like one or two just to speak, um, depending on what the room is looking for. You know what I'm saying? So like if you have more older people, if you have an older leader, um, that's older, you want them to speak, right? And also give them a young leader too, you know, that's up and coming and things like that. Um, that's how you guys really present where you present the opportunity. Um, and also be you, like be you up there. <laughs> Don't say things that you wouldn't even say. You know what I'm saying? Just be you, um, control the floor and the floor is yours guys. So real quick, if you guys got some value, drop some value in the chat box real quick. And before we leave, I want to ask you guys a couple questions real quick. Is that cool? Let's go.